How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. In this week's catch up we got some mail, some tools that I had some questions about, a couple new a new sticker for the board and uh, went for a little Jeep ride up into the, well not Jeep ride, truck ride, uh, up into the burned area uh, around the house from uh, last summer here and uh, we'll show you that. Got some mail uh, the last couple of weeks came in and look at this nice packaging, huh? There we go. Some chocolates. Oh man. Yeah, that's what happens when you leave them out. I want to thank uh, one of my viewers, Harold. Uh, and uh he, uh, he sent these on over as an appreciation uh, gift, a uh, box of chocolates from the Great Smoky Mountains. So, uh, thank you, Harold. Uh, I helped him out uh, yeah, through emails and stuff, and uh, he sent those over. So, uh, thanks, a thanks a lot there, Harold. I uh, do appreciate it very much. Uh, they were very tasty, I should say. Very tasty. A little more tool trade and, you know, helping... Helping other people out, and uh, uh, Lance uh, Baltzy there in uh, Florida. Now Lance is 20acremaker.com. 26acremaker.com. Let me get that. Let me read that right. Huh? And uh, he's in uh, High Springs, Florida. Now he's a veterinarian, but he is really into. Uh, let me get that focus there. He's really into uh, machinery restoration and he has a really nice shop and he's making uh, precision ground stones also. And so I talked to Lance and he wanted to trade for some dovetail cutters and stuff. Uh, actually, he didn't want anything, but I sent him dovetail cutters anyway. Uh, I, I really have a hard time accepting some of these gifts. Uh, uh, so I usually send just about everybody. I think uh, I send them something. And uh, but anyway, uh, Lance made these up stones up. Now these stones are a little different than uh, the other stones I got from uh, Shark River Machine from Stephen. Stevens are, uh, I mean they're nice. I mean they're just great. I, I used I'm using them currently, and. Uh, but these ones are a little different, and that uh, Lance ground an edge in for me. See that? I don't know if you can see right here, this little lip. Uh, and ground all four sides. Now, you, if you want him to do that, you have to ask him specifically for that. He charges a little extra for that. And I'm not sure what he's charging, or I don't remember, uh, for stones. But he, uh, it, you can see how that there... And that is, so we, when you're up against the fence on the surface grinder, you know, you're, you go up against the fence uh, to, to over your magnet, let's say. But this way, this will go right under the fence a little ways to make sure there's no ridges uh, that you're setting on that, that could form up against right, right in line with the fence. So that's why that's on there. These are beautiful lance. Uh, you know, uh, contact Lance through email right now. He has a website actually, so uh, these are really really nice. And uh, both of them have the uh, edge on them. So uh, contact Stephen. Contact Lance. Oh, there we go. Uh, beautiful feel. Just so smooth. Just. It's floating on a little air there, but just, just so flat. Just beautiful stones. So uh, thanks again, Lance, uh, for that. And uh, he sends a nice little uh, instructions on how to keep them clean and all that good stuff. Good, a lot of information there. He's doing a very nice job on these. So uh, contact Lance. Let's see if I hold that real steady. You guys should, should be able to see that. 26acremaker.com. That's his uh, website. So uh, thanks a lot, Lance. These are these are beautiful. Put to good use. 
Then uh, another YouTuber, Vernon Courier, the Mature Patriot. He's uh, Two Busted Thumbs is his channel name. And he, he, he sent me some sticker with two smashed thumbs. Now, I've smashed my thumb before. I, building houses, you'll smash your thumbs, you know. And, uh, yeah, so Vernon sent me some stickers. They'll go up on the board there, Vernon. Up on the wall, I should say, of my sticker wall. And, uh, and he sent me a quick little note here. So, Vernon Courier, Mature Patriot, Two Busted Thumbs. That's his channel. Uh, so check Vernon out and uh, subscribe there. He does uh, some machine work and he's building up his shop. Thank, thank you, Vernon, for uh, sending those. Then uh, another viewer sent me a few drills. These are all Morris Taper uh, two drills. Uh, twos. Yeah, twos. And... Uh, Thank you, Mike. And uh, a quick little note: he's gonna be—he's gonna make it to the bash. Now, Mike's up in Michigan, 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 Wisconsin, Michigan. Gosh, I have a hard time remembering where everybody is from. But uh, thank you, Mike. I talked to Mike on the phone, and and he uh, had some uh, MT drills that uh, he didn't need any. Uh, as far as duplicates and stuff, so he sent me some of them. And uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, I'll put these to good use. Probably might have to sharpen some, but hey, I have a sharpener. I have a grill grinder. So uh, thanks again there, Mike, for sending those. We're driving up in the burned area above our ranger station. It's about a mile and a half from the house. We're going to take a cruise up the hill, and we're going to take around. This is part of the devastation of the dead trees from the bug kill, how many all fell down uh, during the winter here. Lots and lots have fallen. Millions of trees. The road leaves a little bit to be considered uh, since the fire and the winter was very hard on it. They've graveled this, uh, at least for a ways we think. A lot of burnt trees, lots of burnt trees. Really burnt. Now that ridge over there, this whole canyon burned all the way all the way up there and then up farther. We'll, go, we'll drive up farther to take a look at it. And it burned all the way back that way. That's back, this is back toward our house, that direction. Even smells burnt still. All this burnt. That, that peak you see not there, is that, is that Central Peak? Yeah, that peak up here is about 7,000 feet. Still a couple thousand feet above us. We still have some, that's snow, the white. You can see the road over here that we came up on all along the ridge here. This is backside of Kirby Peak and uh, all along the ridge here from that green area over there where we came from. And it's all burnt. Everything you can see just about is burnt. All the way around and up over here is the Devil's Peak uh, Signal Peak, it's also called. And uh, 
there's a fire lookout on top of that. We are up here at the top of this road here. This is the top of a uh, windless ridge. Yeah, Roscoe even came with us. Got a sore paw, but he, he came anyway. Hi, Roscoe. Kind of got a little gimpy. He hurt his uh, one of his pads on his feet. He had a little nick in one, so he's a little sore. This is down here at Owl Creek. We just drove down the hill and it was very hot down here. There's uh, basically nothing alive except right there. A little grass is growing already. These, this whole area down in here was all covered with blackberry bushes and they are showing signs of life actually. You can't kill blackberry bushes. But we found some really neat artifacts down here that we had no idea. We've been coming down here for 30, well, no, almost 40 years. And to pick blackberries. And we found some artifacts down here. Some old concrete structures and footings and maybe a boiler or penstock steel all riveted down in here. Very, very cool. Another building over there. And they go on down this footing, so maybe it was a flume. Here's some of the steel that was in here. Now the creek was flowing clear up here. This is not usual. This higher entire area is silted out over the very bushes, and now there's an extra 10 feet gully over here where the water's running. It eroded most of the road away down at least 10 feet, and then the creek is at least two feet deeper, I would say, down in there. Pretty deep. This is my main sticker uh, wall or cabinet space that uh, I've been doing all of my YouTube. There's a few other than, other than YouTube up there, but not too many. Some uh, are stickers that uh, viewers have just sent me and things like that. But uh, some uh, fly shop over there I really like uh, up in Oregon, Finn and Fire. If you're in the uh, uh, Bend, uh, Bend area, uh, they're actually out in the Redmond outside of Bend. But Finn and Fire is one of the finest fly shops I've ever been into. They're extremely helpful. But one of the great things about their shop is that they have on tap beer, uh, microbrewery beer on tap that they sell out of there. And uh, so you can go in there and have a cold beer while you shop. So, but they have great fly fishing supplies. One, like I said, one of the finest uh, I've ever been in. And I always stop in there every year when uh, I'm up there. Uh, but other than that, I've, man, I've got them up there. If, uh, I can't mention everybody up there, but I've, I mean, uh, I can't go through them all right now, but I've got, a, got them all up there. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, the, the, the Norvice, now the guy invented this, passed away, but sold his company, but this is one of the finest fly tying devices I've ever used. I, I love the one I have, and uh, uh, if you ever have a chance to use one of those, if you're a fly tire, uh, That'd be the one I'd spend my money on. Let me put it that way. I, I mean, I did spend my money on it. <laughs> uh, 
and, uh, it's, and that is excellent, excellent fly tying vice. Uh, I have my uh, son's uh, work up here, Siller Helicopters, up there also. Then uh, Andy Salsa, Andy down in Las Vegas down there, and he's on Instagram and stuff, and uh, he sends me Salsa every once in a while, and, and I got his sticker up there, and he's bought some of my tools. Anyway, I'm going to get one of the uh, two busted thumbs up there. I don't know if that's a good good name or a bad name. Good luck or bad luck. Okay, Vernon, I can't get the back off the sticker. Alrighty. Let's see. We're going to stick you way up here. Right there. Okay, there you go. Vernon up there uh, with uh, Do-Right Fabrication. That's uh, Jim Bollinger there down in Florida also. Right, and the YouTube machinist groups, uh, John Chrissy, I think, sent me that one. Emma's spare room, both John and Emma are down in Australia. So, uh, we got double boost up there, uh, Shark River Machine, Neo 7 CNC, Outside Screwball, Don Cossett, Greg's Garage, Greg's in Colorado now, and uh, uh, Maple Lane Machine. Uh, Keith Fenn, or Get Her Done Vintage Machinery. Uh, Keith Rucker. Bar Z, right there. Make sure you guys, if there's spots available, come to the bash. Mr. Pete's going to be there. I'm bringing them. Bringing them along. Uh, and uh, you'll be able to get to see Mr. Pete. We should be down there Friday. Uh, the Friday before the bash. Uh, we'll be down there probably uh, afternoon-ish. Uh, and we'll be, we'll come on up to... Uh, Stands, of course, will be up there. Stands in the afternoon, hopefully. Uh, let's see. So, anyway, I can't like I, said, I can't go through and mention everybody, but uh, that's a uh, that's my major one. My also, I got a bunch of my toolbox and stuff. So, but I got a lot of everybody up there. That's where they go if they can fit. These are the two uh, kits I have: uh, tap and die. You know, hex one inch. Uh, Tap and die sets. This one's SAE, this one's metric. They're made by Gear Wrench. The let's see. Part number. Hmm. Uh da da da. Be a good question. Gearwrench.com, right? 3885. And this one's 3886. Uh that's what I'm gonna say. Anyway, we'll open them up here. Nice cases, nice cases, uh, fairly good latches. There you go. These are the 40 piece uh, sets, 40 piece SAE tap and die drive tool set. Uh, so uh, you got, got a whole set of taps here. It goes from, uh, let's see here. I want to say 440, 440. 632, 834, 10, 24, 10, 32, 12, 24, quarter 20, 5, 16, 18, quarter 28, 5, 16, 24, 3, 16, 16, 3, 3, 8, 16, 3, 8, 24, 7, 16, 14, 7, 16, 20, half 13, and half 20, and 8th inch pipe, MPT. Uh, so uh, here's the uh, ratchet. Now, if you ever use any gear wrench stuff, they use a super fine ratchet, which is very nice, very handy for tight spaces and stuff. But I really like this. It's uh, it's comfortable to use, but it, it's a ratchet, and you just flip the lever. You can put it on your lathe there, and you don't have to turn it all the way around. You just ratchet along. Uh, this is the little die holder here. So you drop a die in, you know, and... Uh, this is how I use it most of the, if on the on the lathe. This is the entry side of the die. I put it in this way, and then now this here is their closing mechanism to help guide. You know, it has the three pins here uh, to close down on your stock. But you, I don't usually use it on the lathe. And then this just slips in here, right? There you go. And uh, like I said, it's ratcheting. You know. And uh, but nice here is that you have a nice spot to put the tailstock. I just run the live center right in there, 
and I can get it, at least get going once it's in so far because your stock would hit if you're doing a long thread. But once you're through the die, you're straight. So uh, that's pretty not pretty handy there. Just be able to put that tail stock right in there. Uh, so what else they got here? How else does this work, right? And it comes with a little, uh, thread gauge, a little thread pitch gauge right there. Uh, this is the Allen wrench for right here. Then uh, it also has a tap hand to tap. Yeah, the tap thing, tap part works pretty slick. Uh, you can actually put a handle in it and make it a T wrench. You know, both of them are same, same. Or this also fits in the in here. For uh, larger taps and stuff, right? So that that's pretty pretty slick idea. And this I'm I'm not I don't remember what that's for. Okay, okay. So uh, maybe that's to make something fit tighter. I don't know. Okay. I'm not sure why that's there. What's up there? But anyway, this uh, little set it works. It works pretty good. I have had no problems really, and uh, it comes in a nice box, and the metric one is uh, basically the same. A little metric set, it's basically the same, and let's see, M, M3, eight, uh, M3 to M12. Uh, so you got M3.5, M3.6. Uh, and, uh, and they still have this in here, so I'm not positive that makes it supposed to make it tighter or what in there. Uh, anyway, anyway uh, like I said, it worked. It works uh, really good. And these hexes are how big are these hexes? One inch hexes. So that's it. Uh, I'll 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 find them on Amazon where I that's where I bought them. And uh, like I said, they're real nice cases. Uh, I bought them there, and for what I do in my shop, for the home shop, uh, they're great. They're great. And uh, I'll put a link uh, in a, on the in the Amazon uh, to to the Amazon where they're, where they're at, and uh, check them out. new scribe new scribes so uh, you'll uh, see a little uh, promotional video on that uh, this weekend too so uh, thank you guys and uh, we'll catch you in the next one for sure